so we start <laughs> hello everybody hello uh first uh, before we start uh i should ask you if you see me if you can see me if you can hear me uh please uh, send pluses or if you uh hear and see me hello <laughs> and minuses if not so and we're gonna start i can see in here okay Francois, Joseph, okay, great. Mm -hmm. So I think that uh, connection is quite good and we will start. <laughs> uh, really, really glad to see you on this webinar today. That That is my first webinar in English version of Elijah project. Uh, before that, um, there were a uh, few webinars in Russian language, in Russian uh, version of a large product. So I'm just a bit nervous, <laughs> but glad. Nervous, but happy, happy to see you. Mm -hmm. Okay, how are you doing? Please write, how are you doing today? Are you ready to practice this weekend? So who wants to practice, to practice phase this weekend, to get into phase? Uh, anyway, lucid dreaming, deferred method, very good, <laughs> okay, indirect method, I'm doing fine, thanks for asking, I will try tonight, of course, of course we should use weekends, because uh, that is uh, the most comfortable time when uh, we have uh, enough sleep, when we have uh, enough time for ourselves, yes, to um, to do our hobbies, to do our love favorite phase after watching your girl's things. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, first I should introduce myself. Uh, you uh, saw me, you uh, were talking to me, writing to me some uh, letters uh, to technical support, yes. And uh, I should introduce myself. Um, I'm my name is Jana, and uh, I'm 29. And most of my uh, life, most of these years, uh, I've been practicing faith. I've been practicing lucid, lucid dreaming from childhood, as uh, far as I can remember. As far as I can remember, from six or five years, it was uh, very often lucid dreaming all childhood so uh my first uh, out of body experience as a, is it called astral projection uh, astral travel and etc i experienced uh at 16 at the age of 16 please uh write what age uh have you experienced your out of body experience your lucid dreaming first i have a lot of disconnection francois Oh, I hope, I hope you can uh, fix it because uh, I have a good connection. Wow, beautiful story. Ah, okay. At 16, that happened uh, uh, upon awakening and that uh, happened under impression of uh, Robert Monroe, Monroe uh, books, you know, this author researcher of phase from USA and I can uh, tell you that you cannot mix up uh, this experience with anything else in your life it's uh, such a diff such a different and very very bright uh, experience uh, different from I mean meditation for example uh, different from uh, some uh, relaxed just sensations in your body no it looks like it feels like it looks like you are separating uh, your body from your body it, it looks like you are getting up from your bed just like physically but uh, without using your muscles mm -hmm. please uh, write pluses send pluses if you uh, or if you have already experienced phase state 
Hi, all. Fernando? Mm -hmm. Maybe 20. Okay, good. Good. Mm -hmm. And you uh, don't even uh, stretch your imagina imagination. You don't even use your imagination to uh to feel everything like physically it, it, it is just happening <laughs> i can um I, I can provide you some example uh today i've experienced my first uh flight with instructor uh on plane that was fantastically <laughs> it was fantastic and um my husband asked me uh, is it like in phase when you are flying in phase in out of body experience, or it's it's uh, or it differs? I replied that that there's no there's no difference between phase state flying or your physical flying in play. Great experience, great experience, and now I can uh, see that. There are so, so many, uh, so many common things between uh, flying in real life and flying in phase. That's uh, wonderful <clears throat> because uh, often when I ask uh, phase practitioners uh, what they gonna do in phase, um, many of practitioners uh, answer that they would like to uh, fly they would like to fly because uh, this is the most this is one of the most uh pleasant pleasant sensation <laughs> do you agree <laughs> do you agree that uh, flying uh is one of the most uh great uh sensation it experience um no matter in real life and no matter in phase very nice i made a jump too it's amazing okay jump jumping uh, or skydiving <laughs> and even diving diving in water so after years after some years uh, i suppose uh, 10 years left and i learned deferred method uh, and uh, i i've heard about deferred method in michael's Rodriguez seminar so till that moment i had already some uh, experience with lucid dreaming i was researching my lucid dreams i was uh, uh, wondering uh how does it work how to use it in uh for in purpose how to use it in purpose for real life how to uh, get some information from it yes uh, can you please uh, write uh, the reason the purpose you uh, use your face state the most the most amazing things that you would like to experience in face or already experiencing it absolutely i always fly <laughs> okay i do the 50 percent of the time even when doing a large experiment i always try to fly before or after peter i said yes uh, and uh in face it it is absolutely safe it is absolutely safe to fly you know when uh someone uh is a bit afraid of flying in real life so you can do it in phase without any worries find tools and learn <laughs> and mostly get sleep paralysis Leah, Leah, yes uh sleep paralysis is um the most often uh characteristic of phase state you can use it uh all you need is just to uh, put yourself together. Do not uh, be scared of it because um, it's it's not so scary like uh, we consider it first. Try to get acquainted with it, okay, and use it, use it, and all the time think about your aim, think about your purpose to separate from the body and you will succeed you will succeed and uh, these sleep paralysis uh, 
uh, leads you to a phase, but uh, then you uh, will notice that there's no uh, reason, there's no reason at all to be afraid of. I always have fear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fear is our, um, I think, phase, um, how to say, friend or fellow, and we don't need to fight it. We don't need to fight it. Just uh, stay focused on your purpose, on your aim to separate. Don't pay attention to your fear. Just try to pay all your attention, all your attention on your purpose to separate. Have fun and you know, awesome experience. <laughs> mm -hmm. From some sci-fi, I love to fly it. Okay, let's let's go on. Uh, all everything uh, that Michael Rediger says uh, at his uh, th three days seminar uh, for the first result, I I listened to it. I don't ex I expected nothing. I expected nothing for the first uh, moment, but uh, I was I was doing all the exercises. Do you remember exercises from um, Radiga's uh, webinar, from Radiga workshop, three days workshop? Michael is Michael gives uh, uh, very very helpful exercises to to train yourself to train your subconscious mind to separate in the right moment to separate from your body to have uh, this phase uh, state so i expected nothing but uh, was doing these exercises and after after 3 days i mm, succeed i separated from my body um that was upon awakening so uh, from that time my phase became uh, regulated, became more guaranteed because uh, because uh, I started so I started practicing in my purpose. Uh, I'd like to, for example, uh, go through walls uh, to to get in into some interesting places in outer space and etc. and on Earth. <laughs> of course, and to get some information about my life, about my uh, friend's life. So uh, sometimes my husband asked me to, uh, to to get some information from uh, Faze about his uh, work, about his life. Very useful experience. And of course, I think that uh, the most uh, the most change uh, in my personal life became one when I uh, started to to practice phase, went from a very sad person, from very melancholic person, naturally melancholic person, uh, I became more relaxed, more uh, happy, more <laughs> so self-conscious, uh, self. Um, uh, self-esteem person <laughs> so I get more self-esteem because oil already in sleep paralyzes yes um, but you know uh, as, uh, as I mentioned out of body experience include uh, includes astral, astral projection lucid dreaming and etc mm -hmm. and I'm happy to be part of a larger product because um, practical uh, approach uh, that we use uh, is very very uh, useful in that way and it gives you uh, the most fast quick results i think practical approach we use it and if you uh, take part in experiments so uh, thank you very much because uh, you know, every every report that you send to us, every report, every phase, every experiment that you do um, provides provides uh, developing to this uh, theme, to this topic, 
in um, our life, in a human's life. So we we are analyzing it, and Michael is analyzing uh, all your experiments and uh, is doing it for science, of course, uh, for science, for practical approach, and for better use, using uh, usage of uh, this phase state. Because, you know, phase state uh, include so much, so much undiscovered uh, profits. Uh -huh. By that, how did you mean by that? What kind of information? Oh, for example, <clears throat> uh, someday he asked me, uh, do you know uh, that it is a good idea to um, to go to another job, for example, because uh, they offered me another job, another um, another work, another job. So, okay, I asked in phase with uh, in my, uh, to my I asked my oracle oracle person some character some uh, face character that you uh, that your subconscious mind uh, creates in order to uh, give you these answers and i asked and he told me that that was okay nice quite nice idea <laughs> but you know uh, it is all coming from uh, your subconscious mind, of course, Subcon uh, your subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, in that case, you can uh, create everything that you want, everything that uh, that is fantastic. Uh, for example, if you want to fly, you are flying. If you want to um, create some piano in front of you and play, okay, so that is it <laughs> that is it in front of you so and um i often uh, bumped into such questions like uh how to find time and energy for practice how to find it because in our modern life we are uh, very very busy persons <laughs> um, most of our of us very busy and on our webinar today, we will discuss these, uh, I think, important things like uh, how to improve your practice and fight and find energy and uh, time for it, but without uh, disconnection with your real life. Yes, you are connected in your life. You are connected uh, in life of uh, other persons, and it is good. It is good because um, our life can be much more uh, brighter, much more uh, rich, much more rich when we are invo involved in physical and real life, in uh, your work, in your family life, um, in traveling, for example, in your hobbies, and etc. It's good. And in, at that time, at the same time, you can practice faith. Yes, it, it is it's a real thing. <laughs> And um, contrary to uh, such stereotype that you can um, be so esoteric, so you can f um, you can disconnect with other people, or you can disconnect with uh, mm, to have some disconnection with the real life, with your physical duties. No, it's just stereotype. <laughs> And you can see that in my life, it is uh, my work, hobby, love. But at the same time, I have uh, my physical hobbies, my real friends, family, etc., and work at the same uh, time with phase. Just taking some useful things from phase, and we. We will uh, practice some exercises uh, in order to uh, grow our awareness and practical uh, recommendations. And of course, I will answer your questions. I will answer your questions, uh, everything you ask. <clears throat> uh, so we will start. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going to show you. You can see here phase and energy lifestyle and phase ecosystem lifestyle. Your life, uh, style, your duties, your daily routine can be um, integrated into, uh, can be integrated uh, with phase combined with face together so but you can pay attention to some principles uh, first principle is comfort uh, your face practice should be very comfortable for you it uh, it shouldn't be uh, just everything you do in your life just uh, everything you are thinking about and etc everything should be be comfortable uh, and with pleasure, of course. Uh, that is uh, for most uh, quick results, for the most, for good results, for better results. No fanis fanaticism. Uh, do you understand what it means? No fanaticism at all. <laughs> so uncomfortable and no fanaticism uh, are quite poor principles like the future or what do you mean by that future yes joseph um sometimes uh, i get information about future but that future um, connected with uh, me and my um some close friends with my relatives and etc but but i don't use the such uh information base every time i use it quite rarely because uh, I don't like to know future. I think that our life is more quite interesting without it. It's more interesting not to know everything about your future. Because when you know your future, it's not so, so interesting. <laughs> Do you agree? It's not so interesting. Uh, without fanaticism, it, it means I think that you understand uh, what it means. Uh, no, fanaticism means that you should uh, take some schedule to create some schedule when you practice phase. For example, today you are trying, you are making attempts tonight, but uh, tomorrow you have you are having rest tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow you are making attempts again. So that means that you have uh, some uh, schedule, some um, uh, positive schedule, how to say, <laughs> balanced, balanced uh, routine, phase routine, <laughs> to have enough sleep. So please uh, let me know if you have enough sleep in your, during your week during your week do you have enough sleep or you have some questions with it some problems with it enough sleep uh, I I'd like to emphasize it because um, without having enough sleep without having opportunity to have a better sleep uh, you can uh, stay at stay uh, or stop your to be stopped in your in your practice bad connection sound and video cause of storm here sorry i will watch the webinar oh i'm sorry mm -hmm. do you hear me can you see me can you hear me i feel okay with the amount of sleep i have francois okay you know most of the people uh need eight and more hours for better sleep but 15 percent of people can uh be can, can feel good with the seven hours and less so lucky lucky guys <laughs> video is fine with me okay so video is fine but don't worry uh the webinar will be available in record you can watch it later uh, I, I suppose that uh, on YouTube also. I wanted to ask how to deal with being too tired upon awakening after the alarm. Randolph asking lately after awakening. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I see you, Randall. As far as I understood, um, you should sleep uh, a bit more, just for example, for 20 minutes more, and uh, to stay uh, to stay awake uh, for more time. For example, if you've been staying awake for 10 minutes or 15 minutes, you uh, should add five minutes or ten minutes to it and to, to stay awake uh, after your first period of sleeping, after your first uh, five hours of sleep, um, you can add some minutes till, for example, half an hour and uh, try to read some books, try to listen to some uh, music, relaxing music and then go to bed. But uh, try to avoid gadgets. Try to avoid uh, to avoid screens and bright light. Yes, normally I sleep nine hours. Great, nine hours. Uh, me too. <laughs> I I I'm in love with sleeping. <laughs> That's the most pleasant thing. More than uh, it's more pleasant for me than, uh, for example, eating eating some sweets. I prefer sleep and to have face. <laughs> So, uh, this is the next the next sport. Uh, sport, of course, sport uh, helps us to practice phase because it gives us some better sleep. It gives us some better sensations, some better uh, feeling feeling our body. And um, I I suppose you agree with me <laughs> that sport also gives us such uh, developing our will willness. Mm -hmm. Do uh, it trains our intention power when we want something, but uh, we should do it from our last powers. For example, when you you cannot separate from your body, you feel like you cannot do it right now. Something is just uh, something is just. Uh, attaching your you you to uh, your body but sport gives you such uh, characteristic like um how to say will will uh, to do it finally succeed separating from your body um no matter what just doing 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 and uh, you succeed finally you succeed and you separate from your body okay Starting, starting afresh or start from scratch. Even though you have some experience with meditation, you have some experience with uh, astral projection. Yes, uh, when you are you are practice, you are practicing some uh, out of body experience before uh, a larger project, uh, before Michael's seminars, before deferred method, before indirect method, you can. Uh, have it like your basis to have it like your basis because meditation as far as i can uh recommend you it's very good basis for it because it trains your mind to it trains your concentration of course it's useful it's very very helpful but uh practical approach mind it <laughs> Every time, mind your practical approach. Mind that uh, that uh, we are researchers, we are phase researchers. We are um, experiencing on our own own uh, phases, out of body experiences, so lucid dreamings, and we should discover everything by ourselves. It's it's interesting. It's very interesting. Um, eat moderate. Of course, uh, I don't, I don't speak about uh, some ex certain some certain diet. It's not about some certain diet or not. You can eat, uh, you can eat like you do, but uh, pay attention that uh, that you shouldn't that you should eat moderate, especially when you are falling asleep before falling asleep, because uh, it may cause. Uh, some difficulties to separate from the body, to have uh, enough and good sleep. Yes, I experience it that way. Yes, normally. 
Okay. So we continue. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are talking about energy. You know that energy is not just like our biological substance that we can um, dose, that we can uh, measure, and etc. It's something that we feel. For example, when we are tired, when we are tired, when we are, were chatting with someone, we were uh, hanging around with our friends or other people for some time or doing work, no matter doing something just and paying attention to it for some long time, we need to have, uh, to have uh, uh, some uh to some re to, to relax we need some to have some rest and that means that biological energy uh is quite more than just a falling asleep or being uh, very very awake it is about our mind you know that our brain mm -hmm. uh the brain having a mass of not more than uh, 1.52% of body weight uh, consumes 25% of all energy. Can you imagine that? 25% of our energy. So from this comes <laughs> conclusion that we should uh, we should manage our manage to use this energy uh more reasonable more reasonable more effective uh, first i should recommend you to remove uncertainty from your life you know that uncertainty uh everyday life in relationship and certainly uns uncertainty uh, in relationships and thoughts uh it, it is a huge waste of energy it is huge uh waste of our REM, yes, REM, to say, mm -hmm. it's like computer, hard disk, short-term memory, because we need to uh, have all this stuff in our head, to think about some calls that we cannot do for some reasons, we don't know even why we don't um, call some people, why we don't ask, don't answer some people, for example, why we don't uh, do some duties. Mm -hmm. uh, is it, is it, um, is it in your life is there uh, anything like this in your life please take make pluses or minuses and etc if you're if you are disciplined disciplined and if you are a disciplined person and perfectionist of course <laughs> yes i have for example with some people i um, I, I take i promise promised some time ago to um, to make an article to make an article for my uh, friend to write uh, about uh, her brand uh, clothing clothing brand so that was just my uh, help without any obligations and etc just an idea to write it and uh, I have after that so much duties so much uh, busy days so that i remembered i was thinking about writing an article but i constantly delayed it i constantly was delaying it delaying the delaying it and someday a year after i said stop <laughs> stop i should i have to um to call to her all right and uh, to say that i cannot do this i'm sorry <laughs> please sorry um but i cannot um... <laughs> and she understood she understood she laughed uh, and uh, we laughed together and that was quite that was big relief for for me that was big relief 
And if you have some uh, difficulty with uh, difficulties with your promises, with your with duties, uh, something that you promised to do but uh, haven't haven't done yet, yes, please try to do it in near future <laughs> or um, or um, not to do. On or don't and don't even think mm -hmm. or decline doing it. <clears throat> so a uh, logical conclusion uh, emerge, emerges from the previous paragraph that effective daily routine is needed, of course, effective daily routine of eight or more hours for sleeping. And at weekend, we can have a daily day sleep. I have a thing or two. I have cleared a few things yesterday, and I can tell that it does bring a weight off my shoulders. Of course, I understand you, Peter, because uh, the more certainty, certainty you have in your life, the more uh, uh, light, light, Certainty, certainty, yes. You have in your life, um, the better you feel yourself, uh, the more energy you have, the more uh, you can do useful for you and practice uh, phase, of course. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, so, and also pay attention the second uh, the second principle in this case uh, is paying attention to how much uh, habits do you have how much habits do you have for example some persons uh, like eating sweets there is no so surprising in this because i like sweets <laughs> I like eating sweets. You can write what do you like. Not so helpful for your body. <laughs> Not useful. But you cannot uh, give, give it up. So some people, for some reasons, don't give up smoking, for example, and so on. Sweets, snacks, haha. <laughs> yes, of course. In the in this case, I can recommend you uh, stop uh, doing attempts to get rid of it. Stop doing get getting rid of it because you are spending so much energy, you are spending so much your attention to fighting to fighting these habits instead of, instead of um, making it, for example, more more helpful less less harmful less harmful for example instead of eating a bar of chocolate you can um let yourself to uh, eat some one uh sweet <laughs> one sweet or uh just a bit of uh, from this uh, a bite of of this uh, bar of chocolate a day for the first time and etc or uh, let uh, this bar of chocolate or one cigarette for after after week on weekend for example just one that uh, will be enough but stop tr uh, stop trying to get rid of it or and stop tr uh, spending so much energy on it because it um, consumes more your energy than this bar of chocolate uh of course if you can um pull yourself together if you can try if you can do your be best and get rid of some habit do it <laughs> do it and do not think about it just try to replace it uh, to, uh with another another useful Thing. For example, these uh, cigarettes can be replaced with uh, sport. <laughs> sport is very good uh, practice for replacing uh, any any bad habit. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Of course, because fighting uh, something, we spend spend mo much more energy than um, get rid uh, of it at a time at one time yes just 
from now and forever i will i will not do this okay so and i'm even uh won't think about it okay that's good but fighting every day promising yourself uh, to, to start new life from monday from tuesday etc i do have had sleep if i eat too much sugar i'm less rested mm -hmm, Leo. uh sugar sugar of course um influence our sleep bad sleep mm -hmm. you can watch uh on youtube um some last video by M michael michael radiger uh, where he uh, explains uh, diets, diets for out-of-body experience, diets for lucid dreaming. You can see it on YouTube channel. I can knock out regardless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. If it's necessary uh, to optimize energy, um, precisely energy consumption precisely in the process of your occurring in thinking okay mm -hmm. uh you can uh you cannot influence something for example uh it is some process uh, processes in your organism it is body temperature blood circulation heartbeat and etc so but we don't need but the need for influence it um the the only main resource that we have in our brain is uh our attention our attention and our attention is caused by slide it's caused by frontal cortex c you frontal cortex uh, conscious mind you know it is here uh, our conscious mind is controlling our intended activities when we do some, some something in purpose when we are thinking about strategy when we can uh, stop ourselves and uh, stop uh, thinking, stop uh, reacting on something, re reacting on some situations, for example, some, and stop uh, some emotions, destructive emotions, destructive uh, reactions. So frontal cortex uh, helps us to live, to live together in society. <laughs> um, and it is uh, research, it is explored that uh, meditation techniques, uh, different meditation techniques. For example, vipassana. Uh, if you maybe you've heard about it, vipassana, very useful thing that uh, Siddhartha Buddha uh, discovered uh, some technique, very very uh, useful technique of meditation. Uh, these techniques meditation techniques um they train our mind our frontal cortex to pay attention exactly on that things that we should pay attention that we choose not our mind is wandering around and trying to uh, attach us to some um, unnecessary things some destructive things but we here in our mind, in our conscious mind, in our frontal co cortex, neocortex, yes, we are focusing on exactly right things. And um, trained, uh, good trained uh, frontal cortex in person helps to get into phase. Yes. It helps us to have an uh, out-of-body experience, uh, to have lucid dreaming, because conscious mind is uh, um, living in our frontal cortex. Never heard of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's very interesting information. So by meditation, by such techniques, uh, of course, regular meditation techniques, uh, regular meditation practice, and face practice, etc., 
we can train our uh, frontal cortex and as the result of this uh, you can notice that you began uh, you became such focused concentrated person more uh, proactive person and i can um, i can prove it by myself by my uh, experience because i noticed that uh, some changes, some changes came in, in, into my life uh, with phase experience. So please uh, tell me if you have some changes when you started uh, phase practice. Do you have some changes already? Does visualization meditation are efficient as well? Of course, efficient. Visualization... Um, helps us to uh, make uh, visualization techniques in our practice better. Mm -hmm. Some techniques are based on uh, imagination. For example, imagining uh, some um, rope in front of you and you are climbing on it on this rope or visualization some object in front of you some picture and getting uh, into this picture uh, there is plenty there's plenty of uh, there are plenty of these techniques in larger school and uh, michael's webinar seminars and uh, also <laughs> in other pr practitioners and researchers uh, te techniques books i love meditation i wish i had the urge to do it more often um the most uh, the most common thing for all meditation techniques is just regularity you don't need to meditate the whole time the whole time the whole day there's no need uh, because in our everyday life we don't have so much time yes um it's enough to meditate for an hour a day for example in the morning or in the evening when you need to calm down yourself when you need to relax to get uh, to have rest from your uh, working day etc mm -hmm. calm, uh, calm and stable of course if you are stable if uh, if you are focused when you're focused when your frontal cortex is trained tra trained uh, much you are a focused person, proactive person, person that cannot be attached to uh, anything um, destructive, and it is much more. It's much more uh, difficult to um, to make you aggressive for example to make you cry to make you uh, react in some destructive way way and etc first your frontal cort cortex uh stop all the emotions stop all your uh, reactions your immediate reactions and you can choose how to react for example when something is going wrong when some people are talking aggressively you can stop yourself with your conscious mind and you stop and you are not reacting and you are just observing all, all the whole situation and you can choose uh the right the correct strategy in any cases in the cases of our life so where our attention there is our energy and you know Mm -hmm. the next slide the only thing we have really control is our attention do you, un uh, do you understand this so do you agree with me <laughs> that the only thing that we really control in our life is our attention i think that um, many life coaches many teachers of awareness they teach, they teach uh, how to provide this function, how to use your intention to make your life better. Mm -hmm. I agree, of course. Um, you can maybe even now remember some um, situations in your life 
when you cannot do something, for example, exams tomorrow, yes, but you are um, not having, you don't have enough time to prepare for these exams properly, and you cannot do anything else, you just cannot prepare uh, properly. So, you can cry, of course, you can <laughs> worry about this exam, but uh, at the same time, you can uh, focus all your attention, not on your emotions, but on some useful, on some things uh, that you, necessary things that you can do. On that things, you have time, for example, just to learn something, to learn something important to learn something uh the most important uh for your exam and etc without em emotions your frontal cortex your conscious mind controlling uh these destructive reactions mm -hmm. where our attention there our energy uh i'd like to we have time yes Mm -hmm, yes, uh, I'd like uh, to share uh, with you some with some some ideas, some useful ideas that I discovered for myself. I've heard about it before, but I I didn't understand it as clear as I understood it uh, two months ago. I was sweet eater. Mm, I. I couldn't love, I couldn't uh, live without a uh, bar of chocolate a day. That was a horrible, <laughs> horrifying thing. And someday I decided to do something with it because my um, organism says, my skin says that it's not normal for me <laughs> to have so much sweet in the uh, in the meal so um and i was wondering what is the reason of eating something harmful for eating junk food for example um my close friend friend of mine uh he was eating junk food and he tried to uh give up uh, give up uh, eating pizza almost Almost every day, uh, he has some obesity, and uh, I was wondering how, how to help, how to help me with my sweets, and uh, how to help him with uh, his junk food. Uh -huh. And uh, I discovered for myself this uh, rule of awareness. And this rule, this reason, is uh, talking about attention. It's very important thing because uh, so much diets are so much diets do not do the uh, do not do this uh, eat less eat this and etc. But you cannot explain to your uh, organism you cannot explain with your speech to your body uh, how to live. Okay, you understand? <laughs> so it's it's not. Uh, possible it's po impossible to uh, for your body to understand what to do but uh, i discovered this reason for me the reason is attention uh can you just right now uh pay attention to your body so this is our exercise the first exercise in our webinar exercise on awareness and i call this exercise the reason the reason why everything so <laughs> uh, can you pay attention right now on your breathing you can uh, close your eyes take a deep breath take a deep breath take second third just observe your thoughts observe your sensations in your body you can open your eyes now you're looking at a screen or some objects you can look at anything that you want you can choose some point in front of you 
or object you can look at me <laughs> and now try to look at this object to look at this point without moving your eyes from side to side just constantly on one object peacefully calm just look at this object and at the same time pay attention to your breath the sensations of your breath while you're breathing breathing breathe out and sensations in your uh, body parts in your feet in your legs in your hands in your back chest okay everything at the same time just looking looking at one point and breathing try to concentrate on your breathing try to concentrate on your physical sensations on your physical body uh, half and more percent uh, half of uh, 50 or more percent of your attention pay on your sensations this is very a useful exercise for uh, awareness mm -hmm. take a deep breath again Take a deep breath, observe. <coughs> mm -hmm. So, do you feel some um, differences? Do you feel the difference between uh, just uh, handing in your thoughts, handing in your mind and paying attention to your physical sensations? <clears throat> I almost fell asleep. <laughs> okay, that's <Yes>, fun. <coughs> I'm sorry. So we continue. In this state, uh it's a positive thing it's good to be in such a state and such attentive to your body state uh the whole time in your life for example when you are working walking when you are speaking when you're talking um, to any person when you are working try to concentrate on your breathing don't worry you'll be doing uh, everything okay you will be doing everything good your duties you will be focused on this one duty one task per time because multitasking is an illusion you can uh, read about it uh, in a life coaches books and etc that we are not multitasking persons that we are not multitasking beings we can concentrate just on one thing at one time <coughs> i'm calmer yes in this state uh, you cannot be uh, you cannot be uh, distracted you cannot be uh, reacting on some destructive things <coughs> yes separation of your attention is not a infinite resource yes of course it's not infinite resource so that is why we should uh lead uh, provide our resources thoughtfully yes thoughtfully in purpose uh due to our own intention without any intentions of other people and etc and uh one thing that uh we go on okay with attention now listening to me listening to me talking to me writing uh in chat messages uh try to uh, always uh have in your mind your breathing 
this attention on your breathing, on your sensations, on your feeling your body, because remember that we are having bodies. Of course, we are living, we are living physically in these <laughs> physical bodies. We all have bodies. And our body, um, I will tell you some secret, in our body, need attention or uh, our body eager to have this attention of our conscious mind of our breathing of our uh, attention uh, on upon sensations if we are not giving our body enough attention enough attention we are hanging around uh, in our thoughts we are constantly thinking about future can constantly thinking about something that can uh, happen that cannot happen fears other people problems and etc so we lose this attention in our body and it uh it start uh hurting it start hurting for example we can feel some ache you know parts of body and uh the most common thing is bad habits Wh what it is bad habits what it is overeating overeating it's just the way our body our organism try to uh, attract our conscious attention to itself it is uh literally speaking to us oh please pay attention to me i'm your body <laughs> you are constantly in your thoughts you're constantly in your fears in something so abstract i'm here i'm your body you are living here pay attention to me just give me a bit of attention so it is constantly talking to us please give your body your attention and you not you will notice that um you don't want uh, to eat much anymore you do not overeat you do not overeat sweets junk food and etc because you don't need this your body de uh, doesn't need uh, this type of uh, food and bad habits and etc because that was just for one reason to attract your attention to ask you uh, by these uh, heavy sensations in your stomach to attract your attention. So, please, look at me, feel me, feel this stomach, okay? I overeat, I'm your body, I overeat, just for one reason, to attract your attention. And before it uh, starts, uh, in, order, in order to uh, stop it, uh, try to uh, exercise uh, such things uh, like we we did, well, like we did uh, minutes ago. Everything you do, everything you are observing, everything you experience in uh, <laughs> in any cases, in any situations, try to to have some attention on your body because it's your own it's your own body your love your attention uh is very very useful for your body it is needed because uh, I, I don't uh, understand uh, uh much i don't know much more um, uh, i don't i don't know better way to love your body to love yourself uh, but just paying attention to it, doing sport, and etc. And of course, practicing, practicing uh, yourself, developing yourself. Totally agree. I noticed my face, uh, the slightest things wakes me up. Mm -hmm. Vibration from my phone across the room. Okay, we will talk about it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and some more about eating, ha eating habits okay uh and we have some time yes till the end i never eat sugar again uh 
Oh, do not fight it, okay? Because it, it is uh, consumes your energy. It's consu it consumes your um, resources, your conscious resources. Instead of it, I um, uh, I recommend you to use your conscious resources on your body on your body parts on the breathing and at this uh, at the same time at this time mm, listen listen to other people listen to anything do your uh, your things everything you do in your real life everything you do but with your attention on your body and as uh, some practitioners face practitioners uh, noticed uh, after webinar after webinar on this topic uh, after this exercise on attention some practitioners noticed that uh, they get into phase more more a bit more orphan without uh, any efforts just doing this exercise in real life just during a day paying attention to this uh, to their body to their body to their sensation to their feelings because there is no uh, other way for us to for us like uh, persons to love ourselves to appreciate uh, to appreciate our bodies just like paying attention to it Yes, giving attention to it, giving our mind energy to it. And I can uh, say, um, I'd like to say a bit about uh, this moment, because in modern life, we have so much things to do. We have so many social media, yes. We have so many chats, so many uh, information, uh, information st stuff uh, on YouTube and etc. Uh, entertaining for example stuff uh, and we are constantly diving into it we are sinking in it it's sinking uh, in plenty of uh, uh, different information in different social medias in different personalities in different stars celebrities their lives and etc it's okay it's okay but till that time when you are focused on yourself when you're focused on yourself you can hear about anything you can talk with anybody and uh, at the same time yes breathe it and uh, attention on your breathing and you will notice that you're not uh, you're not easy to uh, involve in some conflicts you are not easy to uh, involve in some <laughs> unnecessary ch ch chats and etc social media is a killer for me i try as hard as i can to reduce my youth uh, i agree with you peter because um, uh, social medias are based on attracting our attention mind it just mind it. use it of course because uh, we don't need to avoid it uh, and we are cannot avoid it uh, for hundred percent in our lives smartphones it's very useful things of course uh, <laughs> i cannot live without my smartphone <laughs> and without my social media with my profiles there but uh after access after starting this exercise of awareness uh, when i regulated my uh meal when i regulated my habits with sweets um i noticed that everything we don't need to spend much time in social media because most of the information there are uh, just um, consuming our energy you know if you're if you heard about gregors i don't know how to say english gregors some Mm -hmm. uh, egregors, yes, <laughs> you can 
you can Google it, egregors. So it is based on human energy. Uh, I like uh, the film Matrix, the Matrix film, one of my favorite, because it is uh, um, picturing, picturing uh, the situation of consuming people's human energy. It's uh, quite like uh, in our real life. It's not so horrible as uh, in this movie, of course, <laughs> because it is movie, but uh, I felt some uh, difference between between life, uh, just consuming, consuming information all the time, consuming social media, hanging there uh, half a day for four or five hours uh, without uh, stopping. And when I uh, trained Vipassana meditation in uh, Vipassana Center here, uh, for 10 days without any reading books, without any chat and talking to each other, without uh, using smartphones and etc. You are just meditating the whole time with some breaks, of course, and you are eating some um, vegan food, very, very uh, uh, light, light food, how to say, <laughs> not heavy food. <laughs> so, and you're meditating, you're concentrating, uh, you have no choice but to concentrate on your sensations, on your thoughts, to analyze your um, life, your thoughts, your yourself from uh, toes to head. And I noticed that mm, my dreams Came, became uh, very bright. They became lucid. They became lucid, and uh, almost the same. Almost that time that I, that moment that I fell asleep, I got into some lucid dreaming. I got into phase that was wow. <laughs> Amazing, amazing, and I felt uh, till at the end of these uh, ten days uh, we passed in the meditation course. I felt that I became just more concentrated person, and it is uh, it. Be um, I started concentrating uh, easily on some things that I uh, should concentrate. You may try it. I don't use any social media <laughs> like Facebook. Social media just for some reasons. And for some time when, uh, for example, you uh, did some discipline, discipline the work or you did some sport after training, you have 30 minutes or 20 minutes for social media or to watch something. And that's all. Try to uh, control control time and social media, of course. <clears throat> and uh, in continue to continue our topic. <laughs> I'd like to notice that um, your energy and your attention is uh, the most uh, is the most uh, valuable yes i think valuable resource in our modern life and how to um, manage it how to manage it, this resource you decide of course you decide on what topic on what uh, object on what subject <laughs> to pay attention but no matter what you decide on social media or just to go in for sport or to talk to your family that's good that's great on your work all the time remember about your body remember uh, and keep in mind your sensations your body and you will notice uh, after some time of course uh, after some days weeks maybe or months 
you will notice that uh, it's much more easier for you to, to, to live, to enjoy, to enjoy everything, to enjoy every moment in your life. Because it's impossible to enjoy, <clears throat> to fully enjoy your life, to fully enjoy anything you do when you are mm, distracted from your body, when you are distracted uh, uh, with your attention from your body. Okay? And concentrating uh, is a very useful thing for uh, face practice. Okay, let's go. <laughs> And uh, now I can answer your questions, please. Maybe some questions you do have. <clears throat> I'd like to um, <clears throat> to thank you to thank you for um, taking part in uh, experiments, taking part in practical quests. Uh, because uh, you know your support is very important for us your support uh, in your reports very important for us and when you have some questions in practice when you have some maybe difficulties uh, or you need to uh, develop you, you need to uh, to learn something for face for and to grow your to increase your effectivity in face uh, remember about our workshops yes <clears throat> uh, in the end of uh, month of the month uh, there is workshop by Michael Raduga leave your body in three days so uh, leave your body in three days it is extremely resultative it is extremely effective um intensive program to get uh quick results and uh, i started from it i started uh practice uh, phase with uh, michael raduga's uh, seminar and i was very skeptic <laughs> my skepticism was uh, huge was large <clears throat> i was thinking that how can I learn phase? How can I learn astral projection, etc.? By just doing exercises, doing some exercises. I don't understand for three days, but I decided to do these exercises, <laughs> and uh, I I don't regret about it because uh, after on third day I have phase. <coughs> Sorry. Thank you, Jana. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. It's the direct method tonight. This is hard to do. Leah, <clears throat> a direct method <clears throat> is not so uh, so uh, difficult as we consider it for the first time, but we should get acquainted uh, to face, to get acquainted with indirect method, because it's a bit easier, but um, having some practice uh, in further future, you will uh, learn how to do direct method. But if you succeed in it now, right now, at the beginning, so that's good. That's good. <laughs> Use it, of course. Don't avoid it. It was very interesting. Good usage of our attention. Of course, the whole our civilization is based on humans' energy and attention. And all the people that um, understand it, uh, they live uh, their lives um, more effective than... Uh, people who don't understand uh, such things, that uh, our energy is our resource and our energy is leaded by our attention, our mind, our conscious mind, of course. Do you have any advice on how to practice the phase indirect techniques? Randolph, 
about indirect techniques also uh, michael is um michael is talking on his webinars in details of course and uh, also, he will uh, analyze your attempts and uh, will uh, fix your some maybe mistakes in it. Indirect techniques, uh, as I emphasized, in indirect techniques, uh, you should mention uh, these principles. These principles are base, basis for. For indirect method, also as well, comfort, non fanatism, and uh, having good sleep. Having good sleep, eat moderate, and you should also choose um, correct correct periods for you. For example, your first sleep when you are falling asleep, then sleep for four, five, or six hours. It, it depends on. It depends on your um, need in sleeping because some people uh, need just six hours to to be awake fully awake but some people adore sleeping like me <laughs> i can sleep for 10 hours if i can if i have such an opportunity so you should uh pay uh, attention you should observe your daily routine you should observe your schedule your schedule of sleep uh, and day life and discover and uh, decide which what time you should sleep what time you should get up for uh for for the first time yes for the first time for break for mm, uh, for example, reading books, having pores in your sleep, then um, go for sleeping again with intention to do techniques upon next natural natural awakenings without alarm clock because you don't need alarm clock after. By practice, I mean reverse. Ah, uh, such uh, an exercise is uh, Michael explains. This exercise is on his uh, workshop. Uh, for example, <clears throat> it is such techniques that um, that leads that lead to uh, leads to separating from your body. For example, sitting relaxed or laying down relaxed, and breathing calmly, and trying to rotate to the right or to the left. Trying to rotate or without uh, tensing, without using your muscles, or trying to uh, lift your hand, your right hand, without using muscles, of course. You are sitting relaxed and uh, with all your concentration, with all your intention, you are trying to focus on it, on sensations that you are almost. You're already separating from your body, and etc. The whole, uh, all the nuances, uh, all the um, moments of aspects of uh, techniques you can learn on his webinar. He's um, giving techniques very properly, properly, clearly, and uh, you can ask at the online. You can ask any questions. Thanks a lot for the webinar. Do you think it gets easier after some amount of experience? I have had some good experience, but still how low success rate. <clears throat> John, thank you for your question. Mm -hmm. uh, experience, of course, uh, makes some difference, but makes some... Uh, having some meaning, <laughs> but uh, you should uh, keep, in your, keep, keep in your mind your plan, your purpose, why do you want to? Um, do, you, do you want to get into phase 
so uh, much, so much to build your strong intention to it because intention plays an, a very important part in, it, in this process. Mm -hmm. Our real, our real wishes. For example, we can say that oh, face is very, very face state is very useful. I will uh, do some uh, affirmation. Affirmation. I will affirm me. I will build uh, positive thinking uh, in my mind while I'll be in face state. But in our soul. Uh, deep uh, into our soul, we want to fly. For example, just for instance, that's all. You should choose your uh, the most important uh, aim, your most important, the first aim, the second aim, and etc. But uh, without uh, without fanaticism, okay. <laughs> just have fun, enjoy the process. Uh, have fun, enjoy the process, and. Uh, Mm. Keep in mind that everything is possible because sometimes uncertainty in our mind, sometimes doubts and worries uh, prevents prevent our from us from uh, having uh, out of body experience. It's beautiful. Some worries maybe we have in in our subconscious mind, in our conscious mind, doubts maybe not maybe yes uh, i can or i cannot you can of course you can because uh having face step state is explored that uh it is uh possible for most of the people for most of the people 90 and so on percent of people it's absolutely most of the people around us they all can train uh, these themselves to get into phase and you also some doubts unreasonable doubts can prevent you i have trouble being certain it feels that real <laughs> joseph yes of course it it feels like reality with no difference like reality and i mm, Discovered uh, today that even flying <laughs> is like in reality. All these feelings in your body, all these uh, feelings uh, while flying in process. Everything is real. Eating, a smell, smells are real in face when you are concentrated on it. When you are um, getting into some deep phase. For for this case are Deepening techniques, of course, uh, maintaining techniques, uh, and etc. Um, mm -hmm. Feels real, but I know I'm in the face. But because my logical mind says I need to be sure, uh, to be sure, sure of uh, face or not, uh, we should we should check check uh, to make uh, this reality uh, tests to check the reality because. Sometime you want, or I can speak uh, for myself. Uh, Sometimes I jump into, jump from uh, the window, through the window, and from balcony. So before that, every time I check uh, reality, I do some reality tests. For example, um, looking at my hands and trying to notice something. <clears throat> something unusual, uh, something unusual, unstable. But uh, I recommend, and Michael also recommends uh, to do more than one uh, reality test because one reality test can be uh, <clears throat> created by our subconscious mind, and we can uh, uh, we can. Uh, mix it up or how to say <laughs> we can consider uh it like reality or we can see we can consider reality as phase for example etc 
So you should do one reality test, for example, uh, looking at your hands, observing your hands. Uh, second uh, reality test, uh, for instance, trying to remember the previous events, the previous uh, things, actions, what, uh, what you did before. And third reality test, or second, you can use it like second reality test, Concentrate on some uh, books, on some uh, writings, on paper, anywhere. If you see some writings, try to look at this. Concentrate, uh, focus your sight on your vision, on these uh, letters. And after some time, they, are, they, they became uh, uncertain, uncertain in faith. So you can. Um, understand that you are in, not in not not in reality <laughs> i always am able to remember and everything always 100 percent deep the writing i'm actually able to read it number letters whatever it never changes mm -hmm. so uh have you ever tried uh joseph have you ever tried to um, breathe with your uh, nostrils closed to take breaths. It, it is also like reality test or uh, try to uh, be on ground, be on uh, and try to uh, levitate just by your intention without doing anything, so without jumping up, just focus on your wish to uh, levitate and observe what comes from me or it feels like i can't yeah i can't can't breathe mm -hmm. uh deep and quality qualitative uh, face can be very very like like uh, reality and we can um consider it like reality that's why we need tests we need tests mm -hmm. levitating trying to uh, read something trying to find some objects for example you are in some place in some room and you want to uh, to turn around or close eyes and open your eyes and find some object in front of you. Because in phase, even in deep, very deep, stable phase, uh, we can uh, create any object. I tried it many times. Even in uh, deep, stable phase, I found uh, medicine medicines for example i find but i know or oracle yes oracle i open the door and i see oracle woman or man who is uh, talking to me who is uh, looking at um, glass sphere <laughs> and talk about about future you can uh, ask yourself is it real how can it be possible to have this person uh, just in front of you, just opening door, find this person. But I know I'm in it when I wake up because I literally teleport back to my bed. Of course, for these reasons, we have maintaining techniques. Maintaining techniques are uh, very useful because it, it can uh, prolong our phase, prolong our experience for more than uh, two times, yes. And we recommend to use maintaining techniques uh, close to, close with, uh, together with, together with uh, your plan, together with your actions, without your activities. Mm -hmm. Maybe any other questions? They are not actually, it's like, Mm -hmm. 
I often uh, cannot find my body uh, in my room when I separate from body, and it's okay. I see that there is no my body on on the bed, <laughs> but sometimes, two or three times uh, for my practice, uh, for years, I saw I saw my body laying on the bed on the bed. Uh, that was strange, feeling feeling weird to see your <laughs> sleeping body. Yeah, see my body in the face. Yes. Uh, in most uh, in most situations, in most cases, I don't see. I cannot see my body as well. <laughs> Watching my sleep, it was like two of me. Everything is possible in face. That is great. Everything is possible, and you can do some uh, crazy things in face. You know, please write. What crazy things uh, ha have you done? Uh, already in phase I was on on the moon in one phase in the moon yes the I, I die uh, jumped into the moon so eating moon shape <laughs> food on the moon yes wow me and Dr. Katie was watching myself lay down mm -hmm. check me out Mm -hmm. So, uh, the time is up, <laughs> time is already up, so uh, I would like to thank you for being uh, today with us, for being on this webinar, and I have such pleasure to see you today, I have such ple pleasure to talk to you, to discuss our favorite, favorite practice. And uh, I'd like to see you again in future uh, on webinars. If you have any questions, you can uh, ask her your questions about experiments, about uh, uh, webinars, and etc., about lessons, lectures uh, in technical support. We are there. Thank you, Jana. Thank you all. Thank you all. And have a good uh, evening, afternoon. Also, have a good day and have a good phase. Yes, practice, practice today. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Bye.